Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. Today we have our final skincare dupes video of 2022. But don't worry, this series is going to be continuing into next year because I just don't think we can ever get enough of really affordable alternatives to some high end bougie and luxury skincare items. Today I've got another five picks that I want to share with you. It's all about helping us cut the cost of our skincare routine without having to compromise on those outcomes. So sit back, relax, let's talk some amazing skincare dupes. Now before we get into this video, I would love to know any dupes that you personally would recommend and what these products replace in terms of their bougie and luxury counterparts. So sound off in the comments section below. As I said, this is a series which is going to be continuing into 2023 and I'm always on the lookout for some great alternatives. To be honest, I'm cheap. Drugstore to my car and it pains me to ever have to overpay, which is why it's always such a delight to share these videos with you. If you're as big a fan of dupes as I am, don't forget to reach down and give this video a thumbs up and a like. Let's get that message out there loud and clear that we don't need to overpay for our skincare. The more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube distributes on its platform. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so, so much. Now, I've got a lot of fangirling to do when it comes to these dupes, so shall we just cut that waffle and delve straight on in? So let's kick things off with a good dupe for the Sunday Riley UFO Facial Oil. So this facial oil claims to reduce blackheads and congestion in the skin, minimize breakouts, but also be richly hydrating and nourishing at the same time. It definitely delivers. I got some great results from this. It takes salicylic acid in an oil formulation, so it'll clarify the skin, give you a mild exfoliation, but won't strip and dry like salicylic acid can do in other forms. This is divine, but it comes with a $70 price point. That's roughly £60. Because of that high price point, I stopped using this in my skincare routine. But recently I discovered this. This is the PSA Skin Fearless Oil. This has a really nice oil-based formulation with that salicylic acid too. You get the exact same outcomes as that Sunday Riley UFO oil, but for half the price. You definitely need to use a salicylic acid oil consistently in the long term, because after a couple of bottles of this, you'll notice that your blackheads are diminished, you get a light exfoliation and I noticed that I break out a lot less than with some other facial oils that I've used. This is gentle enough to use every single day and I use it in my evening skincare routine, go to sleep, wake up with clear skin that I just hydrated, nourished and softer than it is with a lot of other products on the market. Definitely, definitely a fabulous dupe for that bougie and luxury Sunday Riley. Now up next, I want to talk about a product that's gone kind of semi-viral, getting a lot of hype online at the moment and that is the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. So this is like the old style exfoliator in a pad. Do I remember Clearasil? Back in our teeth. <laughs> when we were using Stridex and Clearasil. It's basically the same pad with a more gentle formulation. These can be really effective. You get some very light abrasion from the pad itself and they're usually packed full of exfoliating acids which over time will eat away at the dead skin cells and give them a more radiant complexion. I think the reason why these first aid beauty ones have been going semi-viral is because they are really, really gentle yet people seem to be getting great results from them. I'm not a big fan of first aid beauty because A, they went back on their cruelty free pledge now selling to mainland China and subject their products to animal testing to do so not a fan of that I think we should be moving things forward not going backwards and also recently they increased the price of their entire skincare collection well if you want the idea of these products but you don't want to reach for first aid beauty prices actually reach for the nip and fab glycolic acid resurfacing pads they do like a normal and an extreme version if you want to match the exact like for like strength for the first aid beauty to the nip and fab go for the extreme one but if you've got a more sensitive skin type just go for the standard you'll get results in the long term you just have to have a little patience these are basically the exact same glycolic acid formulation in that pad delivery mechanism at half the price so whilst the first aid beauty pads might deliver when you can get a cruelty free alternative for half the price why would we ever reach for them i genuinely think these nip and fab pads could work really really well do you need them in your life no you can absolutely just apply your exfoliating acid in the palms of your hand but if you like the idea and convenience of that pad these are the ones that i would reach for now most of us have heard of youth to the people this is a bougie but very very trendy skincare line i think most of their products are overhyped and overpriced if i'm totally honest i think there are just better and more affordable options out there and slowly over time I've been featuring the youth of the people products in these dupe style videos so if you are tempted by the brand but want to do it on a budget there are some great alternatives one of their best-selling products is their antioxidant superfood cleanser now I personally wasn't the biggest fan of this I tried it and I found it quite drying on my skin 
I'm very oily and acne prone, so that really surprised me, and it's not something I'd recommend for people with drier skin types. But if you want to get an antioxidant-filled cleanser that has that really nice, bouncy, luxurious texture, which this youth to people once certainly did, I'd actually recommend switching to this. This is the Inculist Fulvic Acid Brightening Cleanser. So whilst this is designed to brighten the skin over time, which it certainly did at the margins, this does also contain antioxidants. It has that same gel bouncy feel as the Youth That People one, but comes in at one fourth the price point. You also get more product. So I definitely think this is a switch worth making. If you like the Youth That People Superfood Antioxidant Cleanser, you like the texture, what it does for the skin, but you want to do it on a budget, I think this Inculus Fulvic Acid Cleanser is one of the best on the market and genuinely deserves just a little bit more hype, praise and attention. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of the Inculus as a brand, but when they have an amazing product, I'm happy to shout about it from the rooftops and this is definitely one of my favourites that the brand has to offer. If we keep with cleansers, Yves Lom is a very luxury skincare brand. I love their aesthetic. I love how they present their products and also the way that all of them just seem to deliver. So I actually received like a sample of the Yves Lom cleanser in a beauty box tried it fell in love it has cocoa butter and oils it feels so luxurious on the skin it melts in and honestly it's one of the most effective cleansers i think i've ever reached for i then discovered that evelon weren't cruelty free so i thought you know what that's not something i want to actually purchase with my own hard-earned coin but that aside i probably would have purchased it because it just works so so well However, if you want to find a cruelty-free dupe for this that has that same great blend of ingredients and works, in my opinion, just as well, then I would reach for the Botanics Hot Cloth Cleansing Balm. I've left an image of this because actually it's been sold out for quite some time, but it is now back in stock. I purchased mine from Boots, which is one of the big drugstores here in the UK and Ireland, but you can get it from some other locations as well as online. I've left some links in the description box below, as I will for all the products mentioned today. So this doesn't use cocoa butter, it uses shea butter, Butter, but those two are very very similar in terms of how they deliver it's also got some beautiful beautiful oils in here it just melts onto the skin it takes away even like stubborn waterproof makeup multiple layers of water resistant SPF don't like that feels so so good and has the exact same texture as that Evelon one however the Evelon one was $60 this one eight pounds so it's like a fraction of the cost and it's cruelty free to boot i think this is probably going to be one of the most luxurious cleansing balms that you will ever find and for that price point it's worth reaching for day in day out they recommend you use it with a muslin cloth to kind of remove it and i definitely think you get a slightly more effective cleanse if you do do that However, you don't need to. You can absolutely just emulsify this with some lukewarm water and rinse it down the sink. If you're feeling bougie, you want to take it to the next step, get yourself some muslin cloths. Face Theory do some really great and affordable multi-pack ones, which I personally love, but lots of places like CVS and other drugstores will sell those muslin cloths, or just use it on its own. It's down to personal preference, but either way, this is an exact dupe for that Eve Lom Balm Cleanser, but cruelty-free and a fraction of the cost. Now, finally, Laneige is having a little bit of a revival. Um, Laneige was a really popular Asian skincare brand around three years ago. Their lip sleeping masks were like a viral, viral hit. I think some of the shine has come off Laneige recently. You know, people have realized actually their products are quite overpriced for what they deliver. They're not cruelty free. They've kind of decided to capitalize in a bit of a cash grab way on the popularity of their lip sleeping mask. And now I think they have 47 different variations of it. Nobody needs all of that in their life. And I think, like I say, some of the glosses started to come off Laneige. The main reason I didn't reach for them is the fact they test on animals. But also, beyond just that, I think they overcharge for what they're actually delivering. And so many brands have come out for literally shameless dupes for the Laneige lip sleek pin mask. Same packaging, same scent, same formulation, which I think just goes to prove if you can copy it this easy, there's nothing that special about the Laneige formulation. I've talked in previous videos about how much I love the Revolution skincare version of the Laneige one. I'll leave a shorts video up there where I compare and contrast the two. However, a new one seems to be taking the internet by storm and that is the Care Nell Lip Sleeping Mask. Again, I'll leave an image of it here. This, I mean, you couldn't get closer in terms of the look and the visual aesthetics of this product compared to Laneige. And people say it has the exact same scent and works in the exact same way, but it's one third the price of Laneige. So if you're thinking of buying some of these Laneige Lip Sleeping Masks, little stocking fillers for the holidays, for Christmas, but you don't want to pay those prices, just go for the Nell version, fraction of the cost, works just as well, and I think looks just as nice too. 
So there you have it guys, my last skincare dupes video of 2022. I know, the sadness, I can feel it through the screen. No, I'm only joking, this is gonna be coming back loud and proud in January. So let me know any of your personal dupes recommendations in the comments section below, because I'm always looking for inspiration for this style of content. If you like a good skincare dupe as much as me, don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up and a like, but wherever you are in the world guys, stay safe, stay well, I love your skin. Take care, bye.